Okay, now the first thing that's, that's most important is that we don't use this lady's real name. So sit down. <laughs> because we're not doing psychodrama here. We're doing drama therapy, so we're going to wear a mask. And behind that mask, we can re-empower this lady. So let's give her a name. What, what, what name can we use? And I would always say, in the, in the, let's not use a name that we recognize from the group. Agnes. So, Agnes. <laughs> so is that OK? Yeah. OK. So she is Agnes. Now, Agnes has been in this shelter for how long? Let's. Two weeks. Two, two years? <laughs> <laughs> She's paying rent. Let's just say two weeks. Usually we're in for a month or two until we can figure out you know, how to help them. Yeah. So a couple of weeks. And let's just cut it down that she has written on her card. And what we would do is we would never say whose card it is. This is why the anonymity is really important. I would have a bunch of cards and ask that we all in this room see ourselves in this card, that we're all facing a similar problem. So let's say that Agnes is going to see her boyfriend again, her husband again after leaving, and she's worried. <clears throat> so what might she be feeling? Terrified. Terrified. Anxious. Anxious. Anger. Anger. Out of control. Out of control. <laughs> So let's just start a scene in which I'm going to play her boyfriend, her husband, coming back. Okay? And let's see what happens. It's scary. He can't be careful. Yeah. <laughs> you got your back, Agnes. Action. Maybe well, I miss that. You look so great. You're full of shit. <laughs> so sorry, and I cannot tell you how sorry I am. I'm going to change. I promise I'm going to change, Agnes. I really, I just can't tell you how sorry I am. And I can't tell you how great it is to see you. I love you so much, and you look so great. You cut your hair, didn't you? No. I, I mean, do you know that you I, I, pre I prefer the, your hair long, but it'll grow again. Yeah, no, you look great. And i got to just say, I, I I'm kind of surprised that you that you wore the brown outfit. I know you know that I love the, the red outfit, but it's great. It's great to see you. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so see what's happened already? We got four different responses in this room. Well, that's right. Powerful, powerful woman. But I cannot. I cannot tell you, ladies, how what happens when I play the opposite of what they expect because some of these women want to be loved, they want to hear the words, and they don't realize that what's happening here in the scene. Yeah. He's, He's manipulating her, isn't he? Absolutely. Through all the words, I'm going to change. I love you. you manipulating. What's that? You look great. You look great. But I prefer it this way. All in that smarmy, controlling way. Now see what's happened? You all have started to direct and help Agnes. So me as the therapist, has, I haven't even gotten involved. I simply set up the scene, and you guys start to teach her. And she gets re-empowered automatically with this support. <laughs> let's do another let's do another scene because another one that comes up a lot is I'm in court I need to get my children back and all this stuff is being said against me okay now Agnes I'm going to ask you to be less powerful okay. um, <laughs> I, I can already tell that this is hard for this lady <laughs> Because she exudes such power, I'm about to fall off my chair. <laughs> but here's what happens in the court. So, threatening, and it, and it happens with just the eyes, doesn't it? 
And so what would we tell her? What would we tell Agnes? When he's sitting right there in the court doing his Bible on her, what would we tell her? Don't look at him. Don't look at him. That's stare right. him down. What else can she do <laughs> instead? Let's stare him down. Well, that's judge. powerful. Lisa, that's, that's what I would do. Yes, well, <laughs> I'm going to suggest to you that some of the, these women are not in these shelters right. for nothing. That's right. Mm -hmm. I love the power that you all are saying, but in the real world where men are, can be violent and really, really uh, dangerous, staring them down is going to exacerbate yeah. the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So what else can we offer her as choices? Take someone with yeah, you as well. Say it one more. Say it again. Take someone with you to play a buffer. Yes, good. What else? Can, 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 I don't know the situation, but can, is it possible for her to move so she's not physically as close? Yes. And, and in a court, <coughs> I'm kind of um, exacerbating this problem just to prove a point. Yes, they'd be at separate tables, and she'd have her defense people. I loved it one suggestion the lady said, bring pictures of your babies and put them right there and just look at them. Talk only to the judge. Trust that God will get you through this no matter what has been said because so many times these guys have said to these women, she's on drugs, she's on medication, she's a liar, she's an alcoholic, and they are so frightened have I driven you away already? <laughs> I'm the worst speaker that's ever... I'm not coming to you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, nice meeting you. So, we need to do what we can in whatever environment we are in with the power of the group. And you guys have just proven in one moment here how powerful the group is. Yeah? Yes. Thank you, Agnes. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>